prepend and postpend um, on a variable results in about the same uh, result. So if x equals 5, and I decide to say, I'm going to put a line of code that says x plus plus, and don't forget your semicolon. And look, I forgot my semicolon before. Oops. <laughs> so if we have this code, x starts out as 5, so I got 5 chips. We say x plus plus, we get to the end of the line, it's post pen. We add one more chip, so now x is equal to 6. Now what confuses a lot of students is if I go plus plus x, x starts out as 5, and then we do a plus plus action, so x is at this point 6, and then we get to the semicolon. So x is the same result, we end up with 6 chips, so what's the difference? Difference comes when you add another variable. So a equals. So we start out with x equals 5, so we have 5 chips. a equals plus plus x, so what x is equal to if we add a chip. So a is going to come out 6. Now the one that really throws people for a loop is when you do x plus plus. So x starts out as 5. a equals x. x is currently 5, so a is equal to 5. The plus plus occurs later on. It's a post pen. So that's the main difference. Uh, pre pen means that the variable is going to look at what this is going to be when you apply the plus plus. So if you do a plus plus x, that changes it all around. Basically, it's going to look at, okay, what's A is going to be equal to this X after you do that plus plus. If you switch it around, A is going to be equal to X before you do the plus plus. So this, the organization of this basically determines, do you want X to be um, incremented already or not when you're assigning A the value?